Hey, you two welcome back, guys. So uh, today I have a special unboxing for you guys to uh, check this one out. This one is the X uh, Float Magnetic uh, Levitation Display. Item number is uh, CXF-19. This one is a 360 degree rotating uh, display. So let me give you guys a 360 view of the box uh, real quick. Although it's uh, pretty uh, heavy. And it is uh, made in China. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, open this up. So there's a thank you card right here. By the way, I'm not affiliated with this uh, company or sponsor, so. Here is the instruction uh, manual. And then there are the different uh, types of uh, model right here. This one is uh, only in white, the color of the light. And the other one, you could have a RGB uh, color adjustable. And then that one will require a uh, or the come with the remote control but this one doesn't come with the remote control as you see only apply to those uh, models and then there's a product diagram got the display uh, stand body the placement position for shoes or other objects and then uh, this is a LED uh, light, wireless uh, charging area for model CXF-19D only. And then the power input, audio power and uh, volume control for model CXF-19C or uh, D model only. And here's the basic parameter right here. So it comes with the display stand, instruction manual, power adapter, magnet, uh, two of the bags, and auxiliary block. Got the counterweight, five of those uh, metal balls, and then a packaging box. And here are the instruction right here. It comes with the electronic scale. Some of these are optional accessory, but this one comes with the scale. So it says, uh, please uh, set the product on a level table. Otherwise, it will not function properly. And then uh, plug the power adapter into the back of the display then into the wall and then we have to weight the shoes place the shoes on scale add counterweights until the total weight is approximately uh, 450 grams 450 grams is the recommended uh, weight if the shoe does not levitate try adding more counterweights And then uh, take out the magnet, put it smaller face uh, downward in the heel of the shoes. Hold the shoes in one hand and uh, auxiliary block in the other hand. Raise the shoe upward, the top of the display as picture with the auxiliary block in between the shoes and display. Once you feel the shoes is connected to the magnetic field, 
you can remove the auxiliary block. Note, if you do not have to use the auxiliary block, but we recommend that using it because it makes the process easier. And then uh, gently uh, push the upper middle part of the shoes to make it spin. The built-in fan will keep the shoes spinning. Wow, so much work, eh? There's a disclaimer and then a caution. So here's the scale. Give you guys 360 view of the box uh, real quick. And this one has a backlit display, auto off in 60 second. Large uh, platform with the two clear uh, bowls, tear range, tear full capacity, calibration, auto calibration, powered by two of the AAA battery included. And uh, this is uh, made in China. and then unbox this come with the instruction and this is a hard uh, plastic cover And then there's uh, also one on the bottom right here. Hot plastic. So here's a battery door right here. Made in China. Oh, so it doesn't come with the battery? I thought it come with it. Hmm. your on and off mode PCS tear need to uh, get the battery in order to test out the shoes so and this uh, must be the adapter this is the AC to uh, DC adapter. It's a 12 volt, 2 amp for the output. And it is uh, made in China. I'm gonna take it out anyway, so I'm gonna test this one out. And here are the two bags. Let's see what's inside. So we got uh, five of these uh, metal balls for the counterweight. And then inside the other bag, got this uh, spacer. And this is the magnet. And then I uh, take out the shoe stand. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if it's in there pretty snug. Not sure how I'm gonna take this one out. 
I'm going to uh, dump it upside down. Let's we'll see. Finally. So this is actually the block. Think like that. Well, this is a strong uh, magnet. So anyway, I'll get some battery right now to uh, test our shoes, and then uh, we're going to weight it and everything. I'm gonna help you right back. Okay, I got uh, two of this uh, in a loop rechargeable battery. I'm going to uh, put this on there. So it probably needs to uh, reset itself or we'll do some testing or calibration. There you go, it's at zero, zero. So uh, right now it's at zero, zero gram. So it is a uh, 417 gram. Let me uh, add some weight to it. Wow, 450, exactly. Cool, I just need uh, one ball in there, that's it. So that should be enough. That's uh, Push this in. So I'm not doing it at the table. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So we'll see. Well. Oh, crazy, keep dropping. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to plug it in. Let me uh, plug it in and set on the table.
All right. So uh, you have to uh, plug it in in order for this to work. And then uh, be sure to put the magnet toward the top. That has to be inside the shoes, okay? Toward the back here. And then you need to use this uh, auxiliary uh, block. Put it right in between the light and then the shoes. And then the fan will kick on. <laughs> Once the fans uh, kick on, you need to remove the auxiliary uh, block. All right, so if you're not allowing you to uh, rotate when you spin it, that means you didn't put it right, you didn't put the magnet right in the center of the back of the heel. And then there you go, okay?